So let's react to Shannon Sharp and Skip Undisputed. I'm not going to play it directly, so I won't get a copyright claim. Let me know your thoughts about this pickup. Or wherever you get your podcasts. Deion Sanders. Ooh, he's not wasting any time out on that recruiting trail. Now the Colorado head coach, and he is racking up the recruits. Yesterday, five-star cornerback Cormani McLean decided to change his commitment from Miami to Colorado. This is the highest ranked high school prospect to sign with Colorado since 2006. A big feather in Dion's cap. Shannon, put this in perspective for us. What does it mean for college football? Well, he's off to a, a flying start, Skip. Uh, time is a great, he's a great recruiter. He's a great talker. He's a great communicator. He's able to go into young men uh, homes and talk to their moms, dad and grandpa uh, uh, grandparents and says, okay, this is what I see for your son. Um, he's up front with them, let them know, hey, we're not giving you, we're not, you're not assured a spot. If you come in here and play, you're going to play. Uh, the second year in a row, remember last year, Skip, he flipped Travis Hunter, he did. got him to come to Jackson State when he was headed to Florida State. Yep. He gets this kid to come to see you when he was headed to Miami. And both of these guys play DB. And what he said, Skip, I play DB. Coach Prime is the best DB. I want to be in the same shoes, the same predicament, gold jacket, everything. <laughs> get, get coached by the best DB. Why? First thing first, like I've been saying, you want to play with, with, if you have the opportunity in your position, you want to learn from the best, play with the best, be coached by the best, and primetime is number one in all of those ca categories. He'd been a kid before, he'd been in college, he'd been to the NFL, he'd been a Hall of Famer, go Jack, the greatest ever, do it. So if you're a cornerback, it's a thousand percent chance you're just going to go play with them. Time understands that, you know, getting skilled players is great. But you win, O-line, D-line. You look at Georgia, you look at Alabama, you look at the teams that year in and year out skip, that's where they dominate. And he knows it's going to take him some time, but he has to get those guys. But he's off to a great start. I'm happy for him. Hopefully uh, he has great success early on because the more success you have, Skip, the easier it is going to be convinced guys to come. But this is a great, I mean, you know, he's gotten 20 transfers, 18 prospects signed early. He even flipped a four-star running back that was headed to Notre Dame. He did. Got him to come to see you. Yeah. So I'm, ha I'm happy for my brother. I don't know how much they're paying him exactly. Maybe you do, no. but it's not enough. <laughs> seriously, seriously. And I don't know how much budget they gave him. I literally told everybody, I was the first one to say it, and I did multiple videos showing people, I said, Prime is being underpaid and people are like, oh man, he's the 12th highest coach. His value supersede every other coach. It, it don't make sense. But it'll be worth every penny of what, and I know one of the regions was having a hard time with what, what are we doing here? Right. What you're doing here is turning your football program com completely around. You were one and 11 last year, yes. one and 11. You were at the bottom of the pack. What are they Back now? With. 12, Pac-12, yeah. I keep saying Pac-10, Pac-12 conference. <sighs> this is shockingly great to me because all of a sudden what you have here, you have the greatest cornerback ever, yep. and it's not even close, coaching the best cornerback tandem in college football, I'm pretty sure, because right. Travis Hunter is a flat-out right. stud, and I got to watch him this past year as a college player at he, Jackson he State. Might, skip, he might be a better receiver I than agree, he is a DB. Obviously, Deion's son is also transferred with him, Shadur, yep. and Shadur's thrown it to Travis Hunter, and I'm yep. like, they're unstoppable. Yep. Well, there's going to be times that these two kids are going to be unstoppable. They might both play receiver because the other kid, Cormani, played receiver for a while until they made him a DB. Right. But they're, they're just sensationally talented, mm -hmm. and they're going to be coached by the guy who knows the position better than anybody. Right. What do you think is going to start happening? Really good things. Yes. I know Jimmy Johnson, the first time I ever sat down with him, he said, you win in football. It just made me think, what's the deal with Shiloh? Where's Shiloh going to fit in? Because is Shiloh a safety? Let me know in the comments if Shiloh is a safety. With people who can rush the passer and people who can cover. Mm -hmm. And that you start with that. So I don't know who rushes the passer. To right. your point, you, you're going to have to get yeah, you have to get, get okay. the B-line and old line and protect him. All right. But to flip this kid on top of that kid, it's such a start because nobody's going to have more talent at those two positions right. or be better coached yes. than those two kids right. will be. 
And I think they're both big. I look, I was just watching the videos last night of Kwamani McLean. He doesn't have his man body yet because he's a little slender. Yes. He's just 165, but he's 6'2. Mm -hmm. So he's got. A, oh, he can grow into that. Hey, he will grow yeah. into that. Yeah. He can fly and he can move. Mm -hmm. and, and you want to talk about ball skill? Yeah. Buddy looked like he's the real deal. He's the truth. Just skimming the highlights. What's y'all thoughts? I honestly love it. Coach Prime, undefeated right now. Undefeated.